Hello, my name is Eva Stevas de la Plana and I'm a lecturer of English pronunciation at UNED, that is the Distance Learning University in Spain. I'm going to present the MOOC Aprendizaje de la Pronunciación Inglesa a través de canciones y textos literarios, Learning English Pronunciation through Songs and Literary Texts. The MOOC is offered at the UNED as part of the open access program called UNED Abierta, which provides free online tuition to students of all over the world. So far, there have been two editions of the MOOC, the last one in the current academic year. The MOOC is taught in Spanish since it's addressed to Spanish speakers who learn English as a second language. The teaching team is made up of two lecturers from the Department of Modern Languages at the UNED, Maria Angel Solanz and myself, who also belong to the Innovative Education Group in METHRI-L. The main aim of the MOOC is to help Spanish speakers improve their English pronunciation so as to succeed in their oral communication and avoid misunderstandings. Why is English pronunciation so difficult to Spanish speakers? The main reason is that English and Spanish phonetic systems are very different. Spanish, for example, has five vowels, whereas English has 12. But none of the English vowels exactly coincides with any of the Spanish vowels. And the same happens with consonants. 19 in Spanish and 24 in English. Usually, English teachers don't devote much time on teaching English pronunciation in their classes, and when they do, they basically concentrate on vowels and consonants. This tends to be of very little help to students because when we speak, we need to produce longer sentences uh, with uh, paying special attention to meaning. So just concentrating on sounds is not very useful. So this MOOC offers a new approach to phonetics teaching, which is easy to grasp and which is addressed to a wide audience, not only students with an advanced level of English, but students from any level. It's a top-down approach, which goes from sentences, and in particular from the rhythmic pattern of sentences, to sounds. We are going to present this new method by means of songs and the reciting of literary texts. Merrily, merrily shall I live now, under the blossom that hangs on the bough. Merrily, merrily shall I live now, under the blossom that hangs on the bow. Se mantiene el ritmo dactílico también uh, en música. Why from rhythm to sounds? Well, one of the main differences between English and Spanish, which is hardly ever mentioned in English classes, is the different rhythmic patterns used in the two languages. Spanish has a syllable time rhythm, which means that all syllables tend to last approximately the same duration, whereas English rhythm is based on stresses, so there's the same duration from one stressed syllable to the next. This has an effect on vowel quality, since the vast majority of vowels in unstressed syllables in English are weak or reduced, such as the vowel on the screen. So, for example, in this paragraph from Macbeth, 13 out of 30 syllables contain a schwa. This is good news for Spanish speakers. Primero empieza la sílaba acentuada y después la inacentuada. Eso sería algo así como pati, 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 pati. En este caso, de nuevo, nos vamos a centrar en las sílabas acentuadas. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn and cauldron, bubble, scale of dragon, tooth of wolf, witches, mummy, moor and gulf. The MOOC had over 1,700 students on the first edition and over 4,000 on the second. The participants were mainly from Spain, but there were students from other countries in Latin America and Europe. The results of the questionnaires presented to the students at the end of the MOOC showed very positive results. For example, the responses to the question, has the MOOC accomplished your expectations in terms of English pronunciation, showed that almost 70% of the students said that they improved a lot, 30% enough, and only a few students said very little. The impact of the MOOC on higher education students of the degree in English studies from the UNED has also proved beneficial, since the students that completed the MOOC had much better results in the oral exam of the subject English pronunciation as opposed to those that did not do the MOOC. So the MOOC has been a very positive experience both for students and for teachers because it has allowed us to try and to uh, work with a new methodology to phonetics teaching. We hope that when students listen to songs or poems in English, they keep on practicing. 
Now we are going to leave you with a few messages from the students re related to the course. Thank you very much. Merrily, merrily shall I live now Under the blossom that hangs on the bough Merrily, merrily shall I live now Under the blossom that hangs on the bough